Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install paint.net. So let's get straight into the video guys. So first of all, you want to open up your internet browser, whichever it is. And in the, this will come up, so put, send the Google on um, the, the browser in the search bar. Um, so if you write paint.net or paint.net, not the dot. Let's return the paint.net. We'll come up with the first one here. It says get paint.net. So, what we're going to do is click paint.net. So, this is the website that comes up. Not the best of website, guys, but this is it. What you want to do is go on to download at the top here. So, once you click download, this is the page that will come up when it tells you about the minimum system requirement that you need. So what you want to do is go down and go down to the download here. Is if you would like to install paint.net, please use one of the buttons below. So the top one is a paid one through the Microsoft Store. We don't want to get that one. What we want to do is get the bottom one here. So if you click on the icon here, you should get a download on the left hand screen at the bottom. Um so when you click that so it says free download now, so you click on that. And then there you are, you get a free uh, the download icon coming at the bottom here. So what we want to do is when that finishes, we want it to open. And we click it open, it's a couple of seconds uh, to download. So guys, while it's downloading, uh, please make sure if you already haven't, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing more videos like this um, to help you guys out with any, any problems that you have. Please make sure you share it, you subscribe, you you know, do what you need to do. Also, make sure you comment down below for any other problems that you have uh, that I can help you with. Um, so yeah, guys, that'd be great. And I've, you know, I just want to thank you for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. So there you are. The yeah, actually, that installer has appeared here. What we're going to do is click on the installer. Yes. So now it's extracting it and installing it. This will take a couple of seconds to do. An alter this, this program is an alternative to your Photoshop and stuff like that. But what I would do, you can do the Express one, you know, just to do it really quickly, or you want to custom it. I would, I would custom it. If you click on custom and you can like chain things and you, know, you don't have the bulk stuff that you're downloading and stuff like you can unmark stuff. So use default p uh images for JPEG, PNG, MVG, and images, that's fine. So use the default image editor for PGA images, create a desktop shortcut. Yes. Automatic check for also check for pre release beta versions as well, that's fine. That's what I want. So this is where it's gonna save it to the folder so make sure you know where it's saved here it's a c drive with the program files click next and it says next to start the installation so i'm going to click next so now it's going to prepare to install this might take a couple of minutes to do sometimes it's quick sometimes it's slow it all comes down to the internet connection Internet connection is strong, but it'll do it really quickly. And also, if you want to donate towards the, 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 the paint.net, you can do that. That's up to you guys, nothing to do. It's all your choice. I'll give it a couple of seconds to download. So you know every step of the way and what happens. So there you are, it says paint.net was installed successfully. Click finish to close this installation. What we're going to do is click start paint. If you don't want it to start, want to close this, this window, click on the button here and it won't start up. I want it to start up just to show you what it is. There you are guys, that's paint.net. Similar to uh, Adobe Photoshop and stuff like that. If you, if you want an alternative, this is good um, program to have. If you want me to do more videos around paint.net, 
and how to use it and stuff like that please make sure you comment down below that you want that and what kind of things you want me to show you and i'll do that guys i hope this video has been helpful helpful to you and i hope um you know you've got some benefit from this please make sure you subscribe down below if you already haven't make sure you share and comment um as well um i'll see you in the next video guys take care bye bye